Today, I'm going to show you how to cast smooth walls. So, let's get into it. Well, hello, nerds. So, basically, my previous little tutorial was a little bit long, according to some people, on how to cast basically all different types of stuff. So, today we are going to look at some different techniques on how to cast smooth walls, just like this one. So, let us check out, like this is the 5 meter wide smooth wall, it's very easy to do. This is the 3 meter wide wall. Um, which requires some timing. If you mess up the timing, your wall might look like this a little bit. So the five wide wall is a little easier to get smooth. And then I'm just going to show you a little example of how you can use this smooth wall technique to section off. So you can have a wall that's wider on the base and more narrow on the top. You will, however, get some artifacts. But um, the kind of secret with this thing is that we have an uneven base. The center of this wall is two blocks wide. And this fact has caused this side of the wall to be smooth like that, mostly. And of course, timing is a little bit important. So here you can see it's a mess here when I just left it because I just showed it off in section. So we're going to take a little look at that more. Uh, but first, we're going to cast the most simple smooth wall. And this, of course, works in both creative and survival, whatever you play. So we're going to put some blocks as long as we want a wall there. And then two blocks at least above that. We're going to put a second little layer like that. And then we can play some lava blocks. The furthest away we can have uh, in distance is two blocks space between each source. So here is one source. We can have one source there. But we can also have it here. So here we have two blocks space between the sources there. So we're just gonna place down a few of them there. And there we go. Then we're just gonna wait for this to get to the ground. Like that. Now we can pour some water. You wanna pour one block of water over each source and you want to do it like not super quickly, but decently quickly, so that the lava can kind of turn in another direction as we cast it. Because if it has the opportunity, then it will create some artifacts like I showed you on my example there. Then we can remove the water sources, wait for the water to sink away, and we can pick up our lava sources again if we are playing in survival. This is a very good idea to do. So we can create the next section. So here you can see this smooth wall looks very beautiful and it even has this little top thing here that just gets automatically done. It kind of looks very wally. So you don't even you don't even need to decorate this one for it to look good, which is real nice. But if you want to, of course, you can use this, you can remove these two blocks here and you'll actually get a walkable little wall here. So it's very, very, very nice wall. It's like, this is probably something you would build so you can actually cover between, uh, behind the battlements, you know. This is the most functional wall. But if you kind of wait several seconds when you put the water sources on top of each other, you might get some artifacts like that. Anyways, if you want a very fail-safe wall, you are looking for the five wide wall, which does look like this when we just cast it. 
So let's do that one. And this one is a little other way. You basically do like this. Where you want your wall is you make a three wide little walkway and you can make this out of any material like uh, dirt or anything. It won't be really visible actually when we are done with the casting. So uh, it will be hidden inside. Right, so you create it as long as you want your wall there. And then you place a block with two spaces apart, just like this. Okay, one more then. And there we go. Then you put a lava source on top of each of these blocks. Then you have a temporary little thing here out of dirt is the most easy. And I think it was about every five blocks or something you need to put a lava source. Of course we want to wait for this one to reach the ground otherwise your wall will not uh, reach the ground. Yeah that's good enough. We can just pour here. You can see this one kind of floats out a little bit more. So we don't need to have them as often. And if you mess up the timing with this one, it doesn't matter very much. The wall will still be very nice and smooth, which is why this one is like very fail safe. Wait for the water to drop down enough so that you can save. Whoops, now I was too fast. You can see that happens then. Oh no, okay, I forgot the lava source. So, um, a water source, I mean, so, you know, that's why you want to wait for the water to pour away, otherwise you will kind of destroy them. And here we have it, a beautiful 5x5 super smooth wall. This is the absolute simplest to build uh, in terms of uh, it's literally impossible to fail with this one. And you can of course remove the blocks as we did on the last one and you'll get a pretty decent walkable wall like this even though you might want to pimp it up a little bit to look a little cooler. This wall is hollow so it can be a great way to make uh, I don't know walkways. You can have a walkway here. Light it up though otherwise you'll have company. So that's how to make that smooth wall. And if you wanted to make a wall like this, that's kind of open on the back side, which I think is, I think this looks so amazingly cool. Like this is the side you have towards your base, I believe, or I would. So it feels a little bit like in the inside, you can kind of hide inside a wall and stuff like that. And on the outside, it's this kind of smooth surface. And so how I made this basically was that I've sectioned them off and I had a even middle, which means like there's not the odd number, it's like two blocks is the middle of the wall. And it's just reaches out one block more per step. And on top of that, we'll just place one block each apart like that. And we just pour lava on top of this and just wait for it to reach the ground and that will be good enough for these intents and purposes and you can actually also do like this but you'll have to be a little bit uh, quick and you might lose some lava if you do like this but you just remove them like that and place water directly oh no like that and we need to make it up. I messed up the time there. We need to make it not. Yeah, well, kind of like that. L l l be a little faster than me though. And here is stuff that can happen with this wall. And did we actually reach the yeah we actually it actually got time to reach the ground there. Now sometimes the water feels a little bit bugged, it's like it's not getting removed properly. That just lava pool just escaped here. But um, you'll get the way how to make it and uh, this one will create some artifacts as I showed you before here too. But you know, 
it's still part of the smooth wall family in, uh, in its workings. And you of course can use this method on these walls as well. If you would cast this, you would just want to have like block protruding like this when you are casting on top of here and it will just be one block wider there. Like this wall here, if you want an example of that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to cast a smooth wall if you wanted to get that in a little easy video. <laughs> And uh, with an additional cool wall, which I didn't uh, know how to make when the original video of lava casting was made. But uh, do look at that if you want some other cool tips on lava casting. And you can also check my <laughs> lava cast church build out if you want to. Anyways, I'll see you in a future video. This is your host, Jim Edison, signing out.